Oh no! Christians, your hearts will fail you for fear. The end is come. Judgment is being handed down. This is the signs of the apocalypse. Everywhere I look, I see the signs of the end times. The apocalyptic events are happening. The seals have been broken. The trumpets have been sounded. The bowls, of the vials have been poured out. The wrath of God is upon us all. Comet Ison is going to crash into the sun. I seen it. I seen it. I heard it on YouTube today. Everyone on Facebook is talking about the debris tale and all this debris is going to come crashing down upon us and our hearts will fail us Christians for fear. Fukushima, they're moving the nuclear, uh, the, the, the rods, they're moving them. They know what is going to happen in the world. It's going to be filled with radiation. Oh, no, no. Uh, that's what I'm being told. But I know in 2011, uh, 12 minutes to midnight, we've seen the birth pains. And I found that in Matthew 24 in Scripture. But it appears that we've skipped over all the rest of prophecy. But if I look into the book, when I read the Holy Living Word, it doesn't line up with what's going on on YouTube. The end is coming upon us. But but uh, wait a minute, it's November 21st, 2013. And everywhere people are telling me, Comet I son, is the sign of the Son of Man. Every eye shall see him. And we're gonna have three days of darkness. Christian. Wait a minute, that's for the end times, the three days of darkness. All of these things we're fearing, that's for the second coming. We haven't begun tribulation yet. And you know why, brothers and sisters, why we're hearing so much of this today? Let me show you. Fear sells. Are you buying? One of the biggest marketing campaigns, if you look into big business, and it's happening with the church today. Building a brand based on emotions. Oh, the love of money. In order to get you to donate, to pay now, to buy now, they have to instill fear and emotions based on what they are selling to get you to buy. And the church, the church that has been infiltrated by Satan himself needs to be held accountable. And I'm talking about the church today. Let me show you this. I know it's a cartoon, but here we have a church. Peace, love and understanding but that doesn't sell look this uh head of this church over here where the sign says fear look if you want to make it big in sales you've got to have a simple product that's easy for people to understand fear fear sells and this is what's happened when the church stopped being a church when we removed Jesus as the head of the church and the church became a corporation. And you will see that today. You will see pastors today who are part of the corporation where they serve a paper god, a demigod. And they are using 
uh, very, very advanced marketing tricks, marketing campaigns, instilling fear to get you to buy their product. This is what's become of the church today. The church will not open up the living word and take a deep breath and know that we are not to have a spirit of fear. When these things happen, and we're not even at that point yet, there are a series of prophetic events that have to take place before we come anywhere near. The seals have not been opened yet. The trumpets have not sounded yet. The bowls have not been poured out yet. You have not seen the wrath of God. When you see the sign of the Son of Man coming, every eye shall see him. It's not because of a dirty snowball comet, church. That's the end times. When we have three days of darkness, that's the end. That is the second coming. But we got a lot of people out here on YouTube that are into building a brand based on your emotions because fear is a great great marketing tool it will sell their product why are you falling for this church fear sells fear sells fear sells until you stop buying it stop making a profit quit pimping god Open up your holy book. The fields are so plentiful. Where are the laborers? Where are they? They're out chasing the next apocalyptic event. Comet Ison, Fukushima, we're all doomed. Hey, now, leave me comments.